For this particular project, I'm trying to make a holder for the bottom of a glass candle holder, um, or trying to make a base for it. I don't want to have any screw holes or anything like that in the job, so I want to do a recess in here so that I can attach a super chuck, and I'll also shape the bottom of the base just a little bit, and then I'll end up turning it around. Now, the super chuck's jaws is the smallest diameter it can go to is 52 mil. So I found the center and I've come out so that I've got a 50, close to a 52 diameter. If I'm a little bit bigger, that's fine. If it's less than that, then that's going to be awkward. But this is how I'm going to be starting this project, you know, making a recess here and then turning the base a little bit. I haven't got the speed very high this time. I've got a good hard edge on the recess. And because because the jaw of the super chuck actually has a slight outward shape to it. Sometimes it can be helpful if you can use a skew chisel and you can make the outside of this recess angled out slightly. can just help with that part of it. Now while I've got this spinning, actually just stop it. I'll end up just truing off the bottom just a little bit. That's deep enough to be able to hold that section of the of the super chuck. I've got a tiny little lip there that I oh know that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'll true up the bottom a little bit and I'll make a little bit of a shaping for the bottom of this candle holder base. Now I've had issues in the past with these parts snapping, so I'm going to try and not make this part of the, the, the footprint of the job too small. And I also want the base of this candle holder to be quite sturdy. got this nice and firmly secure I'm going to get a bit of my shaping done as well. So 
up that I need to make. Sure, that, that is a lot higher. A little bit above center, and you're turning off at the sides. A little bit below center, I've found, when you're turning the face. whether the super track actually fits in the recess and it does and it's good depth so I'll now have this on front <coughs> on the super chuck I need to adjust where my tool rest is going to sit just because the super chuck's a little bit longer than the face plate now you can see I already had the center it out. To attach it, and the candle holder glass is 52 mil across. So, so if I just get my tape measure and I sit my 50 mil where the center is. Bring it out to about 75. That's 25 out, so I should have, if I had a circle there, it should be 50 mil round. And to get that set, set my marker there. It should hopefully be. Uh, I can come out a lot further than that. So, okay, maybe here. So the outside of that mark is 52, which is what I want. So if I pair it in there and hollow it out, that should be the right depth. I want to. I need to go down. about 35 for it to really hold the glass holder that I'm making this for well. So we'll see how well we go with that. Now, judging by that nub I'm getting in the centre, I need to lower this down a little so the tool is close to the middle. depth of that. So 
only 22, it's not even an inch deep. Do another check. 30, so just a little bit more. Sorry if I'm in front of the camera there. Just thought of that. Now from that top edge, the middle is 35, and I wanted it around 35, but I'm going to be cleaning this off a little bit, so I want to go a little bit deeper. Just a little bit. freedom for the for doing the top. A little more. be able to clean that top off. I need to make this hole though a nice straight hole. enough. Another check of that. The last thing I want to do is get this home and have it not fit. Now, across the widest part, I've now got 53, which is good, and from the feel of it, it's parallel all the way down. I'm at 40 depth there, so now I can start shaping this front a little bit. Show it up.
happy with that front section, the very top. So now I want to come around and start doing a little bit more interest to the shape. doesn't agree with you. Actually, I might lift this up a little bit and that might help with that. Chisel a quick true up. So it turns out that the battery had died on both of my cameras. Thankfully, I had a spare for this one that's above me. So I'm just doing a little bit of an hourglassing shape to it. I might actually bring this in a little bit more. Yeah. This is pretty reasonable. That bit's a little bit rough, but it's one of those things with the grain. I'm going to see if sanding is going to rescue me a little bit.
I actually want to speed this up a little bit. Turning the speed up when you're sanding can help to get the sanding working a little bit more to your liking. Never an easy thing, never an easy thing to get rid of some of that grain tearing. You can actually just slightly hear that tearing when you're standing. The slight difference in the sound of this, in the rhythm of it. I think that's helping a little. spots that just don't want to go away. Okay, I'll move over to a 120. Already starting to see some shine just with the sanding, which is always promising. You actually see some of the stress lines in that timber.
should be able to see that shine that's developing in the timber. So on its own, that's a really nice finish. I'm not leaving it like that. I am going to get the tongue oil and hope that this really, really, or really brings out the shine. And this should really soak into the timber well because it was so warm from straight off all of the sanding and the burnishing I'm going to go and try and grab a piece of very lint free cloth to this one. Yep, it started to harden because it's been so warm. So, hopefully. I'm trying to put a fair bit of pressure onto this when I'm buffing because I really want the friction to get into that oil and help with the polymerizing of it. That is looking really nice. I can spot the tear out parts because of the fact that I did them. I'm going to do another quick coat. I don't think I'll worry about trying to do another coat on the inside. It's not the surface that I'm really concerned about but the the outside surface is really well it is hardening up quite quickly because of the heat that's in the job You can see it's got a really nice shine. It's 
very hot at the moment. There is some little stress lines in this timber which I'm noticing. Which have only really shown up more in the um during the making of it. I think I'm gonna just do a little little light wax. Cause it's gonna melt straight away, I know that. So warm, fresh bit to help buff it. Now the finish on that is absolutely gorgeous. And the beauty of of using the super chuck is that you don't have to sand the bottom. You're left with a nice job. So I've got my recess to hold this glass vase. And I will take a photo of this with the vase in it and add it to the end of the video. That has just come up very nicely. Not a bad afternoon's work. Thanks for watching.